Hey everyone, I wanted to welcome you guys to the garden today and save some seeds with me today. So it's pretty easy from what I have read. I have saved, saved seeds before, but I have a bunch of new things that I wanna save for next year. So all I have is a Sharpie, some sandwich baggies, which I am going to try and separate them into little paper bags to store them. But I figured this is easy to label and I do have a bunch of Cosmos and like bigger seeds that's gonna take up a lot of room versus the small little plastic bags that I've used before, which I'll put up on the screen if I can find what I used before. So I'm just gonna go through and save a whole bunch of different variety of seeds. And I'll show you guys what some of them look like as I get to them and what I look for when I'm pulling the seeds off. So we're just gonna start right here with some Cosmos. I'm not sure what kinds of Cosmos I have because my tags got all messed up. So I'm just gonna do pink variation. Cosmos. All right, so what I look for for Cosmo seeds Also grab some pruners because some of this stuff doesn't come off very easy. Cosmos dry out to look something like this. They look like a starburst kind of a shape, but those seeds are completely dried out. So you can see kind of here, this is a stage of the Cosmo. Um, some of them haven't dried out very much at all, but you can actually see the starburst ones. And those are the seeds that I'm gonna save today until more of them kind of dry up. And depending on how much I get today, I may not save more. Uh, Cosmos kind of self seed themselves. So if you put them in a place where you kind of are gonna leave them, you don't really have to do this step because um, they'll drop to the ground and seed themselves. But I am going to do this because I'm not sure what I'm gonna plant in here next year. I don't really wanna depend on Cosmos coming back and then having to move them or something like that. So I'm just gonna go through here and collect a whole bunch of Cosmo seeds. It's really exciting. Here, you can see there's a bunch of fluff in there too, but there are a bunch of seeds. The seeds are more of a black, like this. So yeah, that's a pretty good amount. I'm gonna continue to add to this bag as the seed heads dry out but I'm going to collect the next one, which is more like a red. So a bunch of those aren't quite dried out enough. So I'm gonna just keep looking. But yeah, 
Cosmos are pretty easy. That's the thing you do over and over. Look for the really starburst look. Um, that means they've dried out really well. So I'm gonna keep doing these and then I'm gonna move to something else. So next we're gonna do nasturtium. Um, I'm just gonna do a variety of nasturtium. I do know all of these kinds, but it doesn't really matter to me. All right, so let's see if we can find some. So these usually drop off. They kind of look like a little nutshell but they drop off. So you wanna make sure they're completely dry before you store them. So you can let them sit out a couple days or put like one of those uh, moisture packs inside of the bag, but you just wanna make sure that they're completely dry. This is what they look like as they're forming, but then they kind of drop, like there's a bunch down here. Nasturtium is something that'll reseed itself as well. So. You can plant it somewhere you'd want it to just keep coming back. All right, so the same thing with nasturtium. I'm going to just continue to watch for seeds and just keep adding them as the plant kind of goes to the end of its life in the fall. But I really like having these. They've really kept my aphids on these plants instead of on other plants. So I always plant them. I actually do have another set of them over in the other part of the garden. So highly recommend nasturtium. All right, next we're gonna do some borage which this plant actually came from the old house, which is really cool. It somehow harbored seeds in this pot. So I'm gonna keep letting it do its thing. All right, so borage um, is pretty easy as well. So these little dried flower heads have seeds. They drop really easy, so might lose a bunch. They look like this, just little black nuggets. Here's a good example. There's usually four inside of each flower head. You just kind of crimple the flower head and they all come out. Kind of lets you get rid of the flower head part. So these ones are a little bit tough. You kind of have to really 
break the seed head apart. And the seeds have a lot of fluff. So these like really dark ones, those are the seeds. And then uh, you can get rid of all the other stuff. Some people like to just collect whatever they want and then in the winter go through and separate everything. So you can do that too. For an example, I'm just going to pick through these and then I'm just going to cut the whole cone off and uh, put them in the bag. So I'm going to put this whole thing in this bag. Alright, so these have a bunch of seeds. They're really dried out. And you just dump them out. <laughs> That's incredible. So these are the Celosia flamingo, but all those black seeds, those are all Celosia seeds. I'm just picking off the ones that are like, don't even have pink on them anymore. You can tell though, like here. So this is a dried one. Oh, this one's not even done yet. Shoot. So that one hasn't opened itself yet. Let me find another one here. So here, all of these little black <laughs> seeds that come out. Pretty incredible. Some of these plants just provide so many seeds from one bloom head, it's just. So I did collect 
a pretty good amount of seeds. The zinnias aren't quite done drying out, so I'm gonna wait on those. But I got a lot of celosia seed, a lot of Mexican sunflower, um, well, the ones that I did before. And then I also, I also am gonna do some beans and things like that. So those will be coming too, but it's a little bit time consuming, but it is fun. Um, I like to see what plants create, what kind of seeds. Some are way easier than others. So I highly encourage you guys try it. Let me know uh, if you do save seeds, any uh, tips and tricks. I'm always game to learn new things, but hope that was helpful. I am going to take these inside and open the bags, really flatten them out and let them dry for sure. Um, and then I also mentioned you can put those moisture control little baggy things inside of them too. And then just store them and plant them next year and do the same thing. Free seed for like ever and ever. <laughs> Anyways, I hope that was helpful. I hope you guys have a great day. We are going to start the process of fall cleaning the garden and starting some more crops for fall. Um, tidying up things that are done and just so and so forth. Making it nice and clean again, um, getting all the dead out, but a lot of a lot of fall feeling things coming soon, like mums and pumpkins and all the things. So watch for those videos coming. Thank you for hanging out with me. I hope you guys have a blessed day. We'll see you guys next time.